Greetings, people of the four corners of the internet, or as some people would say, Although I have absolutely no idea what that means, I just kind of made that up off the top of my head. Just, I have no idea why. But, I am now officially stuffed at the time of me recording, making this video. It is November 22nd at 6 p.m. of the year. 2018 what did I just celebrate I celebrated Thanksgiving I was at my dad's house with my grandma and that was it um, unfortunately my family in recent years is uh, a little more spread out than I would like it to be but you know shit happens what are you gonna do <laughs> but you know I am making this video this sort of obligatory Thanksgiving video off of my, I'm recording on my phone. What is Thanksgiving? <clears throat> I mean, we all know what it is today, but, you know, how did it get to be to this point, if you will? <laughs> well, going back probably a lot further than really needs to be said, but to kind of get to the point, it all starts with Great Britain, England, you know, I remember one of my history teachers saying, you know, the sun never set on the British Empire because a long time ago they had their hands in just about everywhere and everything. I mean, if you think about it, Australia and Canada and the United States for sure are basically knockoff versions of Great Britain. The flag is almost exactly the same. The, the government is almost exactly the same. The currency, the language, all that stuff is pretty much, <clears throat> pardon me, almost exactly the same. <clears throat> so a long time ago, as is today, the people of, you know, Britain, England, London, whatever they had. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just kind of taking off my socks there. <clears throat> they had a thing for tea and for spices, as just about basically everybody on the goddamn planet does. But back then, travel wasn't as easy as it is today to get from point A to point B. So, if you're in England and you wanted to go to a place like India, where they have great tea leaves, um, you'd have to either, number one, you'd have to take a boat and basically go all the way down south around Africa, come back up the other side of Africa, and then you'd basically be right in the middle of the Indian Ocean, or like the Mediterranean Sea right around there, or something like that. Or, if you wanted to go by land, I'm pretty sure it was either somewhat treacherous or just damn near difficult and very long. There weren't highways, cars, roads, nothing like that, so you probably had to go by horse or donkey or something, and you had to do a whole Lord of the Rings deal, you know, going through thick forests and valleys and mountains and snow and all that other stuff just to get to the other side of the landmass to get tea leaves and spices from Asia and China and Japan and they were making gunpowder at that time and all that stuff so it was <clears throat> it was a big deal and Great Britain wanted to find an easier way of doing it as you know with anything you want to find an easier way of doing it so they said well what if we leave England and we basically travel west by boat and just go like in a straight line and hopefully if we circle around because at that point they finally said okay fine I guess the world is round they said what if we go in a complete circle and we come around and we'll just end up right where we want to be we'll end up in you know Asia or China or whatever and we'll get what we need and it'll be a straight shot and we don't have to do all this stupid left turn right turn through the mountains over the hill to grandma's house deal and that's kind of what they did. And without even realizing it, they eventually stumbled upon North America. Purely by accident. And 
it's hard to say who was the first person to do it for sure. I know America was named after a guy, I believe his name was Americano. What I don't know if that was his first name or his last name or what have you. Um, but yeah, that was a thing. America was discovered by accident, so... To be brutally fair, at that point in time... <clears throat> evolution is a thing, it just kind of hit us differently, depending on where you live. So you have... The Europeans coming over from Europe to America and they've got their powdered wigs, they've got their tobacco pipes and, you know, their fancy frilly clothes and their booty shoes and their swords and, you know, basically dressing up almost like a pirate representing the Queen and her Royal Navy and all that stuff. And then you get to America and you see these tan Native Americans with... Dark black long hair, they've got, you know, the bone through the nose, they got the feathers in their hair, and they've got the, the war face paint, and they're wearing, you know, actual real leopard skin bikinis, and they're living in little huts, and they're, you know, growing squash and using bow and arrows, and what did you think was going to happen? I mean, the white man's sitting here speaking English, and he's going, uh... These guys look kind of like savages to me, and I don't feel any reason to be peaceful about it in the least bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to rape and pillage this entire land and colonize it for myself, because why the fuck not? And that's what happened. It's the honest truth. I mean, look it up. It's got to be out there somewhere. It's not really something that you can argue. The Native American population as a whole is dwindling as the days go by but despite having discovered America by accident and despite having such a violent start to wanting to do nothing more than to colonize it for you know Great Britain whoever was in charge at the time I think it was maybe King George the third or something um, despite all of that, there were a few of these European settlers, pilgrims, whatever you want to call them. There were a few of them in the bunch that said, you know what, I just want to be in this new land just because it's a new land. And I'm not going to be so hateful to these new people that are here that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make some food and knock on the neighbor's door and say, hey, I might not be able to totally understand what you're saying, but hey, let me at least give you some food, and maybe you'll give me some of your food, and we'll have a big meal. So essentially, the first Thanksgiving at that point in time was made. Or prepared, or whatever you want to call it. The Indians and the pilgrims, the European settlers, got together and had food. And that tradition carries on today. Now, I can't say for sure what it's like in other places outside of, like, America, Canada, and, I mean, I would imagine England and places like Australia do it, but, like, going to Germany or going to, like, Japan, I can't imagine Thanksgiving being such a huge thing, but, you know, to each his own. Um... So it is a tradition that still carries on to this day where every third Thursday in the month of November, you basically are reflecting and being thankful for what you have, not what you want, not what you need. It's more of just a day of remembrance to say, hey, a long time ago some people got together and settled their differences, I'm pretty sure. All of us today, being the snowflakes that we are, can put aside our differences to say, let's just have a meal together. Normally, this holiday is to be spent with your family, and granted, most of us, either one, we don't have a family because of whatever reason that may be, or maybe it's because we're stationed overseas for some bullshit. Um, you know, maybe our job takes us away when we don't want to be taken away maybe we're in the hospital 
or just working, busy, whatever it is, but usually it's spent with your family, usually it's not spent with anybody, maybe you just go down the street to a friend's house. You know, the new popular thing is Friendsgiving, where you don't have to celebrate it on that day, but at some point or another all your friends get together and you have a meal. <clears throat> Wow, I really must have ate a lot today. Thanks, Dad. That was good. Um, <laughs> but you get together, and it's kind of... It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I dressed up a little bit today just because I thought it was appropriate. Um, it's kind of the traditional thing to be in nicer clothes, and you sit around the table, you do a quick prayer, and then you have your... Usually you have the, the traditional turkey, mashed potatoes, uh, green beans, um, stuffing, gravy, cranberries. I had um, candied yams and apples. That's, that's what it was, yams and apples. Um, pie is usually a big one, pumpkin or apple. I'm not a big pumpkin guy. I just, I like apples, you know. Apple cider is so much better than uh, pumpkin spice anything. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, dinner rolls. Dinner rolls are always usually a big thing. King's Hawaiian is the best. Let's just be fair. Let's just get that out in the open now. King's Hawaiian is the best. Um, <coughs> cranberries, I already said that. What else? What else do you normally have? Salad, kind of. Um... Collard greens, um, you can kind of play around with it after that, I guess, but, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from, you know, who your family is and whatever differences you may have in your life, but the point to this is eat your food, sit down, shut up, and just be thankful, all right, just reflect just for a split second and be thankful for what you have. You know, don't try to impress yourself. Don't go out of your way. Don't anything. Just watch some football. Undo your belt a little bit for the guys. Ladies, I don't know what that means if you're wearing a tight dress or whatever. But, yeah. From me and, you know me sitting in my room here basically talking to you through my cell phone essentially um this is a this is me saying happy thanksgiving to all of you and oh i was watching the parade earlier today the macy's thanksgiving day parade i believe it was the 96th year that they have been doing this 96th no not year sorry 96th annual parade i think something like that but two things I want to point out. I only really caught it for like a second because I woke up and I was still like tired when I woke up. Apparently Ashley Tisdale is still a thing because she managed to somehow sneak on a float and grab herself a microphone. God. And thank God they got Goku to be a fucking balloon in the parade. That was fantastic. I don't know exactly how it works, but... Whoever works for, what is it, Toei Animation and Funimation, you guys are amazing for putting that together and making that possible. Now, shame on you, Al Roker, because he didn't say Super Saiyan, he said Super Saiyan. I specifically was watching the NBC version because they're always right in front of Macy's, and Al Roker said Saiyan, Super Saiyan, and I'm like, ah, so close. But... All that aside, again, from my room, recording on my phone, to all of you out there on the internet, happy Thanksgiving, and enjoy yourselves and all that, and I will see you later on for either another movie review, or just something random stupid that I want to rant about, whatever. Bye.